The crime saga of convicted murderer Stephen Avery is now hitting the bookshelves. The book's author might be a surprise to some, especially considering the content. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has multiple views on the new book. Manitowoc County Assistant District Attorney Michael Griesbach wanted to get the story straight when it came to Stephen Avery. It was a horrible crime. Stephen Avery is most known for being convicted of the 2005 Halloween murder of photographer Teresa Halbach. But Griesbach focused his book on the crime Avery didn't commit. Griesbach's book, Unreasonable Inferences, starts in 1985 on the shore of Lake Michigan in Manitowoc County. That's when Penny Burnson was raped and nearly killed. It's difficult to sort of relive the experience. Avery was convicted of the crime. Poor Stevie served 18 years. In 2003, DNA evidence cleared Avery of the rape and he was set free. The DNA matched Gregory Allen. In the new book, Griesbach suggests Manitowoc County officials likely knew before the DNA evidence that Avery wasn't responsible for the rape. My sort of contention through the book is that uh, it was certainly an unreasonable inference to draw originally back in 1985 when uh, they convicted Mr. Avery. Thomas Kasarik was the sheriff when Avery was convicted and Dennis Vogel was the district attorney. Neither wanted to comment on camera for this story, but I did talk to Kasarik on the phone and what he said is that his stance remains the same. He says when he was working the case, there was no evidence to prove that Stephen Avery did not commit the crime. I have mixed feelings. Burnson, the 1985 victim, read Griesbach's book before it was published. She says the injustice in the case needs to be known to prevent similar incidents in the future. Burnson believes Vogel and Kasarik didn't acknowledge people when they had doubts about who raped her. I believe these concerns were not listened to and were not adequately addressed, and it resulted in a miscarriage of justice. They knocked the hell out of us uh, from 85 to now. Stephen Avery's father, Alan, believes Manitowoc County has always had it out for his son. Tom Kasurek said, I'm going to get you for this. I didn't care if you did it or not. And that, that's exactly what they did. The Averys told me they plan to read the new book. Let the public read it and see how our justice system works and how, how they did fail. An injustice can fester for years. Meaning that what happened in 1985 does have an effect on whatever happens in the future. Griesbach hopes his book will prevent similar injustices where someone sits behind bars for a crime they didn't commit. As for Avery, he's back behind bars for the murder of Teresa Halbach. In Manitowoc County, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. Now the author Michael Griesbach believes Avery was responsible for Teresa Halbach's murder. Avery's parents still believe their son was set up. If you're interested in reading Greasebox's book, you can order a copy through a link on fox11online.com. Look for that in the news link section on the right-hand side of the homepage.